Ladies and gentlemen, this is Brock Lawley, your fearless host. Listen, I don't even know how to set you up for today. The irony is so thick. It's like condensed sweet milk. I mean, it's just beyond anything the King's English can wrap its hands around. All I can do is lay it out for you. Let's start with the soundbite. The epidemic of malicious fake news and false propaganda that flooded social media over the past year. It's now clear that so-called fake news can have real-world consequences. This isn't about politics or partisanship. Lives are at risk. Lives of ordinary people just trying to go about their days to do their jobs, contribute to their communities. It's a danger that must be addressed, and addressed quickly. Bipartisan legislation is making its way through Congress to boost the government's response to foreign propaganda, and Silicon Valley is starting to grapple with the challenge and threat of fake news. It's imperative that leaders in both the private sector and the public sector step up to protect our democracy and innocent lives. I mean, my fellow Americans, how much more can a person be expected to take? Hillary Clinton, the Democrat Party, and here's the real rich aspect of it the media the media is out there on a non-stop parade of bringing awareness to fake news fake news this ominous entity that's around every corner threatening our well-being normal people going to work affected by people posting things on the internet that the democrats somehow don't like or that threaten their homogeny And as if your common sense and just basic room temperature IQ intellect hasn't been assaulted enough. Brian Williams, like I was in the Civil War, Brian Williams, like I flew to the moon, I met aliens last Wednesday, make up everything about his life. Brian Williams is getting in the mix. As we talked about here last night, fake news played a role in this election and continues to find a wide audience. A BuzzFeed news study of Donald Trump's own tweets where they follow back news stories to their root source, found more of them came from Breitbart originally than from any other single source. <gasps> more of them went to Breitbart. Breitbart. I mean, Breitbart is an NMMS, PMMS, XYZ news. It's not only up and up. Breitbart, they don't spray tan like I do. Breitbart, has Breitbart ever met any aliens like I, Brian Williams, has? Have Bright, has Breitbart stormed uh, the beaches of Normandy like myself? Has Breitbart tunneled to the center of the earth where we actually touch the molten lava? At this, I, Brian Williams, have done all those things. All you need to do is just check my archives. I've said all of those things. I've tweeted all of those things. Brian Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, seriously. These people have lost their mind. But don't mis misunderstand me. These people are extremely dangerous. What they're saying is that the internet needs to be controlled, that what's being said needs to be controlled, and they are going to lasso up and threaten and possibly even try in the lame duck presidency of Obama to push through legislation that makes the internet less free, makes it less open. What they really mean is they lost the election. There must be influencers. There must be disseminators of information that have not turned out and cattle shooted through the statist organism that is the media. Let's talk about real fake news here for a minute. Let's just graze a stone across the vast sea that is left-wing statist media fake news. Let's let's just journey through the ghost of of uh, Christmas past, uh, Christmas media leftist past, if you will. Let's just start with Secretary Clinton, jailbird, and uh, not so chief. Um, Rodham. Let's just start with her. Do you remember when she blamed Russia? Blamed Russia for a host of things, but blamed Russia for meddling with the election? Zero proof. Zero evidence. Went out there, just started spouting it off, said blamed Russia about corrupting our, our elections. Again, zero proof. Do you remember this, this not, even, not even yesterday's news, the recount scam 
that her and Jill Stein and, of course, the, the, the left have just perpetrated on the American people, undermining the election. And, and this is coming from the people that said, if you do not accept the election, the whole, the whole system is going to crumble. Do you remember that? Do you remember Donna freaking Brazil giving the debate questions to Hillary Clinton? Fake news. CNN is out there talking about fake news. The entire thing is kabuki theater. Do you guys remember Hillary Clinton getting caught with Virginia governor bribing Bribing the FBI. Do you remember? Do you remember the Attorney General sitting down on a plane with her husband as she's being investigated by the Attorney General's office? Do you remember any of that? Do you remember these same media outfits pushing 11, 12, 15 point victory for Hillary Clinton in the polls? All of which total nonsense, total fabrication. Ladies and gentlemen, that's saying nothing of the media at large. What about the Benghazi situation? What about blaming a YouTube video? What about 300 million illegal aliens now calculated in voting in the last election? What about this? What about if you want to keep your insurance, you can you can keep it. You feel like keeping your health insurance, you can keep it. It's actual. That's actual fake news. That's actual false lying. Uh, fabrications. That's what that is. Do you remember Hands Up, Don't Shoot? All these media personalities on television doing the Hands Up, Don't Shoot. Now we know for a fact, investigated by Barack Obama's quote-unquote Attorney General's office, complete fabrication. Cost hundreds of people's lives. Cost all kinds of private property. Destroyed cities. Cost dozens of cops a bullet in the back of the head. And families, widows, Orphans. Total lie. Do you remember the Iran deal? It was negotiated by moderates. Turns out it was the mullahs of an Iran. Do you remember flying billions of dollars across the seas into their coffers? Do you remember Bo Birdall? Do you guys remember that? The quote-unquote war hero that turned out to be a traitor. We traded five terrorists for this clown who were supposed to be secure in, uh, I think it was uh, either Yemen or Balad or Bahrain or one of these things. Just out leading jihads across the globe now. Ladies and gentlemen, do you remember the do you remember every single climate scandal that they predicted? Every single uh, climate catastrophe, completely false, spoken with a serious tone to their voices. I remember Miami was going to be underwater, uh, Al, Al Gore told me and all lies, all made up. You you remember this just just yesterday Steve uh Bannon was a white supremacist, zero evidence. Total baseless assertion, completely baseless. Do you remember Donald Trump can't win? Do you guys remember that one? Donald Trump can't win. Media, nonstop barrage of Donald Trump can't win. Statistically, he cannot win. Do you remember the Bureau of Labor getting caught cooking the books on Barack Obama's unemployment rate? Not counting 90 million unemployed people. Do you remember the IRS commissioner going to the White House 157 times and then attacking conservative political outfits? Do you remember the Rolling Stone, the uh, sort of paper of choice, the integrity pop paper of choice, running a, a rape on campus piece completely made up. Rolling Stone is faced to lose $20 million in that slander lawsuit that the, that the rape, quote unquote, rapist is now bringing against the Rolling Stone and they're going to win. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the media. Do you remember ClimateGate where all of these scientists got, got caught in emails cooking all the numbers, cooking all the data? Ladies and gentlemen, do you actually remember journalists where the journalists get together and have have conversations about how to contort? Listen, ladies and gentlemen, it's so laughable. It's so laughable as to make you want to vomit in your mouth. The fake news comes completely from the alphabet soup, completely from the Democrat run media. This is preposterous. This literally is 180 degrees turned around from the truth. What they're doing is they lost an election. They have this uh, pizza ping pong thing. Again, completely made up. Ladies and gentlemen, what they're doing is trying to control information. What they're doing is trying to clamp down on what should be a wild, wild west internet. Are there going to be stories on the internet? 
that do not pass the smell test? Yes. Are there going to be stories on the internet that are not true? Yes. Half of them that I follow back are total nonsense. But does the government, moreover, the Democrat Party, moreover, Hillary Clinton and freaking Brian Williams, are they going to be the uh, stalwart uh, protectors of all things true, vetted and verified on the internet? News that does not come from the lips of Hillary Rodham. News that does not come from the lips of MSNBC and their statist allies repeatedly refuted. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the truth. CNN needs their license revoked. Why? CNN got caught giving election questions to Hillary Clinton. NBC has been caught editing video to stir race violence in the case of Trayvon Martin. MSNBC is caught in so many lies on a moment-to-moment basis. It's almost circus-like la- clown laughable. There is fake news, ladies and gentlemen. And it rolls off the lips of the alphabet soup anchors, the status anchors, the government in suits anchors every single night. You want a war on fake news? Bring down the mainstream media. Thank you for listening to the Brock Global Program. Americans are divided right now. The divide is real and it is distressing. And it's partly because of Facebook. And when I say fake news, I mean stories that are designed to trick people into believing lies. Deception 101. I see three buckets of them. Number one, total hoax sites with totally made up news solely trying to trick you. What if it was hijacking or terrorism or mechanical failure or pilot error? But what if it was something fully that we don't really understand? A lot of people have been asking about black holes. And is it preposterous, you think, Mary? I think it's wonderful that the whole world is trying to help with their theories, and I absolutely love the theories. Absolutely, because people are trying to find answers to something that's unexplained right now. How do you keep everyone quiet? I'm glad you brought that up, because we have been talking about this. I've been getting questions from viewers on social media, through email, and even on the streets, especially today, on a day when we deal with the supernatural. People are saying to me, why aren't you talking about the possibility, and I'm just putting it out there, that something odd happened to this plane, something beyond our understanding. How does a jetliner with almost 200 people on it disappear? Absolutely. How are they just gone? Absolutely. Also interesting is remember, it's illegal to possess uh, these stolen documents. It's different for the media. So everything you learn about this, you're learning from us. Number two, hyper-partisan sites, which aren't lying per se, but they're misleading because they only tell you good news about your side and bad news about the other side. She's on her way. To deciding. We'll see. About deciding. We couldn't help her any more than we have. I know. You know what I mean? She's, she's I got just a free ride so far from the media. We're the biggest ones promoting her campaign, so it better happen. The accusation from Donald Trump and claimed exactly. completely false. She never, she never, she never laughed, laughed at, at, at the young lady. At her. She was a, a, so, a, so the audio tape is accurate? It's, yeah, yeah, it's a false accusation. It's a it doctored audio tape, is that what we're saying? It's a, no, false, it's a false accusation, accusation in terms of what it's, it's, it's not even no. clear that it's her no. on the audio tape. It's not absolutely her on the audio tape. There's no equivocation about it. Well, I would tell our viewers to go Audio emerged of Clinton talking talking about the case with an Arkansas journalist back in the 1980s. Listen to her laugh describing the moment she delivered her forensic expert's findings to the prosecutor. Well, I'm just getting ready to come from New York to spread this miscarriage of justice. (laughs) Those recordings were played for the victim by Josh Rogan during his interview. Her reaction was anger. When I heard that tape, I was pretty upset. You lied on me, and you're supposed to be it for women? You call that for women? What you done to me, and I hear you on tape laughing. There is another piece of audio that Clinton's critics have pointed to for some time. Clinton on the same tape laughing about her client passing a polygraph. He took a lot of pictures. I had this polygraph. And she passed. She forever destroyed my face in polygraphs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, what was sad about it was that the prosecutors had... Evidence. What do you think Donald Trump needs to do to come out on top? Well, on the character issue, the public, you know, two thirds or more of the public knows that Hillary Clinton's a liar. She can't be trusted. And now the two faces of Hillary Clinton are coming out. The fact through WikiLeaks that she says one thing, uh, and oh, like obviously we just lost the satellite feed. But I think number three is the most dangerous kind. These are the hybrids because they purposely mix a little bit of fact and then a lot of fiction.
Viewers are speaking out on a segment we aired yesterday concerning the federal ban on assault weapons. The 1994 ban could expire in September 2004 if Congress doesn't extend it. Now here's a sampling of your viewer email from David in Calhoun, Georgia. It's not the weapon which has the knockdown power, it's the ammo. From Andre in Washington, D.C., you made no mention that many Americans legally own fully automatic weapons with a special permit. And from Jim in San Francisco, your sources implied that assault weapons are more powerful than currently legal guns, but it appeared that the only functional distinction was in the size of the clip. There's only one reason for it. it you cannot hunt with it. Uh, it's only one reason, and that is that it kills people. It's a military weapon. It should be kept in a military arsenal and out of the domestic society. Apparently, the only difference between the New York Times and CNN is that when a reporter for the New York Times fakes a story, he's fired, and at CNN, he's not. Your bureau chief, John Zarella, deliberately faked the story yesterday, intending to show that the performance characteristics of banned firearms on the list are somehow different from the performance characteristics of firearms not on the banned list. He was implying that these were uh, machine guns or fully automatic guns. That's not true. Mr. LaPierre, I, I have to stop you there. No one fakes stories at, he, at CNN, and John Zarella definitely did not fake a story at CNN. Here, You're very off base. I'm going to let you say your opinion, and let's right, have well, a conversation, but don't accuse uh, our reporter of faking well, any no, story, sir. Let me say it again in front of the whole country. Your reporter faked that story yesterday. It deliberately misread right, the gonna, viewer. There's no, way, there's no way it could be true, and I we're, challenge we're, CNN to defend it. Well, we're not going to continue this interview because our, our reporter did not fake. Because you don't want the truth. All right, let me the ask you this. What are the you uses? you don't want out there. Okay, that is not true. You we ought did to not register fake the story. Your, you, you ought to fill out a lobby form and register. Let, why don't we ask an another question? Why can't you accept the truth? There is no difference, Kira, in the performance characteristics of the guns on the ban list and the guns not on the ban list. They don't shoot any faster. They're not more powerful. They're not machine guns. They don't make any bigger holes. All which your reporter, John Zarella, implied in that story. Let's talk There's... about the ammunition. It's not the weapons that do the damage. It's the ammo, okay? Kira, they all fire the same ammunition. Why can't you accept the truth? There is no difference in the guns on the ban list and the guns not on the ban list. Your reporter's story was deliberately misleading the viewers. Bill Clinton deliberately misrepresented the House. Truth matters. We, the public needs to hear the truth. And the truth is, every police officer on the street knows that there's not a dime worth of difference between the guns on the ban list and the guns off the ban list in terms of their performance characteristics, and I challenge CNN again to defend that story to its views or viewers because it's not true. What do you say all to day the... yesterday? You what... misled the viewers. What do you? S I got calls all day yesterday from law enforcement officers going crazy over that story. You ran saying it's not true. They were dismayed that there was a law enforcement on, officer on there lending himself to it. The story misrepresented the facts. What we need to do to stop crime, every time you catch a criminal, 100% of the time prosecute him, put him in prison. We have all kinds of gun laws. Catch a violent felon with a gun, put him in jail. Catch a violent drug dealer with a gun, put him in jail 100% of the time. That's what rank and file cops know stops crime. But again, I challenge CNN in the headquarters to take an objective look at that story and defend it because it's simply not true. John Zarella ought to be fired. Executive Vice President of National Rifle Association Wayne LaPierre. And, uh, we all stick by John Zarella and how credible of a reporter he is. Boycott the media, bring down the media. Destroy the fake news mainstream media.